In one of the recent videos, I mentioned that the Proven turbine had developed a fault and that uh, I'd wound it over. So here it is, and uh, we're just going to have a look at the various bits and pieces. First of all, though, over the years, this tower has had different generators on the top, and initially, I had a hydraulic system for raising and lowering the whole tower. Um, since then, of course, the Proven is a lot heavier and that's caused problems. So I'm developing at the moment a gin pole system to work around the original pivot that I built on this. So let's have a look. I've got to have the camera facing this way because the wind or the breeze is behind me. Otherwise it'll just get in the microphone. So up there there's a bearing and a steel frame and there's another bearing the other side so there's an axle with a pair of bearings and a triangular frame that sits within the triangular cross section of the tower now these are on uprights and that yellowish thing there along with a grey one next to it are hydraulic rams that went from a frame mounted on the tower with lots of cross bracing right down to the bottom down there in amongst the brambles I don't think we can see it just down there anyway and that used to work really well but not so much now because one thing and the other and this and that and the the proven is too heavy however we have this pivot at about nine foot up the tower and for a gin pole to work the uh, the pole needs to be working around the pivot so that means that I'm gonna have to put a gin pole from that point upwards which means that it's a bit of a pain in the neck to fit but once it's there it can stay there because when the tower's upright the gin pole will be about nine foot off the ground but horizontal I'll do a video about this later on anyway that's that bit it's a, a tale of development over at least a decade so one of these bits is going to be abandoned. I'll probably leave the ram still there and maybe put some sort of air valve on the end so they can act like a damper of some form when I'm lowering the tower. Um, so let's have a look at the fault on the Proven. And we're just on handheld camera here and this is just setting out the gin pole using the steel that I've got and if you see there I've got a line and a square that runs all the way through to the pulley at the end so it's just clamped up and tacked up at the moment there'll be some gusset plates to go in and all sorts of things The wind is from behind me, so I can't really turn round into the wind, but we've got a nice big pulley there. So there are the springs, and these covers are laced on with cable ties. So I'm just going to undo a couple of them. I'm not going to undo the aerofoil piece which is this bit round the tower but I'll undo that top piece as much as I can uh, a lot of them over time have sort of worn away and come undone so in some ways it's a good thing that I've lowered this over so the breeze is getting up and it's right from the north so it's a bit cold 
So you can see here that the proven is a space frame. And there's a big bearing there. The shaft's about inch and a half in diameter. And the other end there, there's another bearing. And then the generator. So the bearings are a really good distance apart. So you can afford to have a little bit of wear in those and it won't be a problem. And they've got grease nipples on them and you're supposed to grease them once a year. But this probably hasn't been greased for three years just because it's a pain in the neck to uh, wind over. But with this new gin pole that I'm working on, hopefully it'll be a lot easier. And there are the slip rings. They're pretty heavy duty. Now bear in mind they've been running for nine years, something like that. That's looking pretty good. But the problem is, down here, that's one of the springs, called Zebedee Springs. On the other end of that little bracket there, which is the bracket that holds it to the blade, the other end of that, and I'm just going to zoom out very gently, that wasn't gentle at all, has broken off and there's the remnants of it. So I've got to get or make another one of those stainless steel and they look like they're about two mil thick. So let's just have a fine look at one of these brackets. So there we are, that's what we've got to make. And interestingly enough, they look like they're laser cut. And there's been a problem with the laser cutting. They've, they've started the piercing inside. So they've created these little notches here. Rather than starting the piercing outside of the shape, they've started it on the inside and then cut it. And therefore, it's created an area of weakness. And you can see it there. From where a crack could start. Which is a bit appalling really, isn't it? There's also a disc brake on these. There it is and a manual lever. So it's not hydraulic, it's manual. And the string comes down onto that piece of bungee cord and then down through the centre pivot. Nice idea. It's a bit rubbish. It doesn't have the adhesion to uh, hold these new blades and when I'm talking about new blades I'm saying that when I first bought this Proven it was really quite bad and it had the old polypropylene blades so within about six or eight weeks they finally admitted that they'd got new type blades and they were trying to get rid of old stock so they sent me a new set of blades which are these carbon fibre ones which are a much better but then the brake won't even hold uh, with extreme pressure on that cable on that rope uh, in 40 50 mile an hour winds so i've got an electronic brake as well i.e you know you stop the turbine and then put a dead short on the output so it can't go but when you get a strong wind the blades will move against that brake however hard you put it on so let's have a look at the blades so there's the spring pivot and these are the blades carbon fiber apparently and these have been running for uh, well eight or nine years they were black to start with but of course time well, let's have a look at the leading edge where you would normally get quite a lot of wear 
and here's a leading edge and you can see it's moving so the camera doesn't want to really focus but there are little pit holes where the resin or something like that has worn away but not bad considering it's been running constantly for that length of time if this was a timber blade it would be really worn away the spring wood work wears away more than the summer wood i.e. the annual rings the light coloured stuff wears away a lot faster than the dark coloured stuff on a timber blade that is so they're not bad uh, and they they don't whistle at the tips which is why the tips are quite small and rounded otherwise you get that awful whistle 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 all the time so that's a bit of an update on the situation with the proven turbine um, they have gone bust but I think they've been taken over by Kingspan uh, renamed and all sorts of things but I don't know whether they've uh, developed the turbine to improve it we can only wait and see but I've got plenty of work to do on this one bits of maintenance replace the brake rope do the uh, grease the bearings make a gin pole make a new spring anchor point or maybe I'll make a lot of them because they all seem to have this inherent fault that's it